This is but one of the legends of which the people speak. Long ago, there existed a kingdom where peace roamed free. It was a prosperous land blessed with green forests, tall mountains, and of course, peace. But one day, a man of great evil awoke and brought destruction upon the land. With his enormous strength, he spread darkness across the kingdom. But when all hope had died, and the hour of doom seemed at hand, a young boy, clothed in green, appeared as if from nowhere. Wielding a cheap piece of crap sword, he completely failed to do anything. This boy then proceeded to run away, screaming, Oh my goodness, there's nothing I could do! Everybody hated this kid. People prayed to the gods for help. But the gods did not answer. In their last hour, as doom drew nigh, they left their future in the hands of fate. What became of this kingdom? None remain who know. The memory of the kingdom vanished, but its legend survived on the wind's breath. Hundreds of years later, on a certain island, it became customary to garb boys in green when they came of age. Clothed in the green of fields, they aspired to find heroic blades and maybe actually achieve something. The elders wished only for the youth to know how to be a complete pansy like the hero of legend. Also, it was hilarious to watch. This story shall not follow the cowards on this island, but the only resident who can truly realize the legend. Face the king, run the wind, for the legend of skill. Be dark hell beyond you forever. Face the king, run the wind, for the legend of skill. Bring the chains on the west forever. Face the king. And that's the story my mother told me every night before bed. What an appropriately epic story. It's part of how she forged me into the man I've become. Zerd, cure him, come quick, Ganondorf is attacking. <gasps> oh no, save the children! And the women! Wow, Zant, women can save themselves? They don't need you to do it for them? This is 2018, come on! We can dispute feminist values later. We have to stop Ganondorf. It is I, the great Ganondorf! I have returned to spread Easter joy and chocolate eggs across all of Hyrule! You must stop him. Wait, we're actually being villains for once? Yes. I don't know if I can still remember how to do that. So we take the good stuff away from the bad guy? Yes. I mean, I'm down. But won't that completely go against both of our character arcs? Screw your character arcs! New season, new rules! It has a .5 in the title, it's not even a full season. Shut up and stab him in the taint! For fun! For glory! For Xanta the new Smash Brothers! Please Nintendo, please God. We seem to have forgotten the true meaning of Easter. Today we celebrate the day that for all, in all her shining glory, came back and laughed openly at Din as she died on that sort of wonky square that constituted his torture in those days. It was a weird time. When it was over, Din was heard to shout, I hate marshmallows, as she finally slumped over and died. Well, that got really deep for a second there. Hey guys, I got Ganondorf's nose. Give it back! You know that's not very sporty, so. Can I get a timeout? This makes no sense whatsoever. Who wrote this? I, I have to agree. It does look like it was written in a drunken haze.
This, this series has really gone down the crapper, hasn't it? <laughs> Oh, 